let's talk about today's deck. It is a Gideon Sacrifice Phyrexian Obliterator deck, which is different, uh, to say the least. Um, the, the deck is very controlling. I mean, it's essentially a mono black deck. It's got all the elements you want. It's got Thought Seize. It's got the Fatal Push, Eliminate, Heartless Act, uh, the, the Sweepers with Extinction Event and Ritual of Soot. Uh, and then, of course, some really, really good top end with the Obliterator sitting at four. We've got Turgrid and the Lantern, which is really the way this deck wants to play. Uh, and then, of course, Liliana Dreadhorde General sitting here at the top. Uh, but the addition of Gideon Sacrifice enables kind of a neat little combo, which is uh, essentially if somebody, for whatever reason, decides to burn out some of your other stuff or try and burn you or whatever it might be, uh, you can kind of get them with Gideon Sacrifice. Uh, it's a little bit weird, right? Like it's not, it's not great, uh, but it is interesting and I thought we'd give it a shot today. Uh, we do have a lot of just really nice interactive pieces. We've got the Maze Mind Tomb to continuously kind of push us in the right direction. Uh, and then of course some lands here. We do have one Castle Lockflame, a little bit of tech there just to give us some extra card draw as well. Uh, but I'm really stoked to try this one out. I have played just a few games with it it's been hit or miss. Uh, it's If you get a good starting hand, any good control deck, uh, which this I think counts as a decent control deck, um, or at least has a lot of the elements, you can really push through for, for those wins. But uh, other than that, we will we'll see how it goes. Smurf, what's up, buddy? How are you doing today? Uh, I hope you're doing super, super well. I am excited to be here today also some confirmation with the soul link that i was talking about yesterday uh i did get the okay on a lot of the assets that we've made at this point um including thumbnail and layout uh as well as um the intro and all that kind of stuff the logo all the fun stuff and so we might start spoiling that fairly soon uh we'll see how it goes because there is still a lot to do uh in terms of Getting everything set, getting a schedule down, that whole thing, but I'm really excited. Uh, said you're in South Carolina, that's cool. Work in South Carolina, live in Georgia. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I am in South Carolina. Uh, I am more towards Charlotte, so I'm up a good bit higher, I would imagine, than where you are, Smurf, but that's cool. That's really cool. Um, so I think we do this and just pass. Um, Smurf, what is it that you do, if I may ask? Bluffton? Oh, dude, yeah, I know exactly where that is. That's really cool. Um, all right. A uh, little worried about this, but we're going to do the best we can. Chances are we're pretty dead, uh, given that they've got the Aetherworks Marvel. Um, let's do this. Sure. It's not really all that helpful, but it does potentially get something out of the hand here. We really kind of wanted to get the obliterator down, so maybe it would have been better to not do that. Uh, I work for Ty Toyota, master technician at the dealership. Dude, nice. That's awesome. Um, that's really, really cool. Okay, so. Huh. <clears throat> so if we take this, we potentially take them off of. Yeah, I think we just do that. That does potentially take them off of hitting Aetherworks Marvel this coming turn. It's not a perfect plan, but we're going to do the best we can. Master Technician, though, Smurf, that's a pretty awesome job, I feel like. That's really cool. Um, let's go ahead and draw. That land is very helpful. Uh, let's do this. Uh, so we've got two ways to play, right? We can kind of perk some flaws. Yeah, for sure. As I'm sure everything does, right? Like that's not a nothing for nothing new, unfortunately. Um, let's go odd. I'm gonna extinction event again because we know their hands, um, and they are a little ways away for slightly a little ways away from being able to do this. But we'll see. All right. Well, this means they do get to hit. Hey, Pete and Creeper guys, all the great people back. What's up, guys? How's it going? Good to see you all. Uh, so the only plus side here is that the Phyrexian Obliterator kind of uh, doesn't prohibit. Well, see, that's the trick, though. They get to exile the two permanents as soon as it hits the battlefield. So we're kind of setting ourselves up for them to play an Ulamog. Um, but I think that's actually OK, because then we can play the Obliterator in response. 
or, or excuse me, on the following turn. Pete, how are you doing, Creeper? How are you doing? Oh, they whiffed. They whiffed. Uh, I mean, they can still gain some energy here, potentially, but we'll see. Guys, how are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing well. I hope it's uh, a great day for everybody. Yep. Okay. So now again, they can activate. Afternoon. Hey, Trash Cam Penguin. What is up, my man? How are you doing today? Good to see you. Uh, great to see some of the uh, old school faces here. Creeper, Pete, of course, always popping in. Smurf, great to see you. And then, of course, Penguin here as well. Lots of awesome people here. All right. So I think we just ritual. I think that's kind of the best play. We just get rid of all their field, essentially. I mean, that seems pretty good. They do get a lot of energy. Uh, sorry about it, everybody. Uh, unfortunately, we are having some issues with the network today. My goodness. Uh, for anybody that missed it, essentially all they did was try and block with the cub that they got, the uh, Long Tusk cub, which is what they got off of the Aetherworks marble. They spent a lot of energy, and then we just fatal pushed it, <laughs> um, which worked decently well. Um, but they did then, of course, have Aether Meltdown for us, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm going to attack. And let's see what they do. Uh, I mean, eventually they're going to hit something good. And this very well, yeah, it looks like this is the turn. Um, so they're going to hit two permanents. That's fine. Because, crucially, we are then just going to play another Phyrexian Obliterator. All right, there we go. We'll see if this works. Uh, guys, if someone can confirm for me that we are back up, that would be just extraordinarily helpful. Um, extraordinarily helpful. Uh, okay. Uh, streams back up. All right. Sorry, guys. Uh, I do appreciate your patience. Uh, I know it's kind of frustrating. I'm going to block here. I mean, they have to sacrifice everything. <laughs> so that seems pretty good. <laughs> um, so now we've got Turgrid, which is kind of the important piece here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw Turgrid out here. I am going to throw him out as a creature since they are kind of back down to nothing. They've got tons of energy, uh, which is scary, but they've got nothing to do with it. So I'm all for it, people. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw a card. Huh? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna hit this. <laughs> uh, sure. Alright, we stole their thing. So this is a pretty sweet first game. Uh, we got there, guys. Look at that. Let's get some hype in the chat. We did it, we did it, we did it. Uh, that was a great first game, actually. The thing that I will say about this deck is the Gideon Sacrifice just doesn't feel like it's doing enough. Um, it just doesn't seem all that great. Like, it's, it's cool. Uh, it's a nice little trick, but I don't think it's I don't think it's worth it if that makes sense. So just my take, obviously. Uh, but we have only played one game, so let's keep playing some more. Alex, how are you doing today, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you here. Um, also, did you end up doing the thing you said you were gonna do yesterday by any chance? I did. I didn't see a link come through. Um, I know I'm talking about something on stream that. We are uh, yet to commit to, but just curious. Uh, I am keeping this hand mostly on the back of Maze Mind Tome. Um, we've got a lot of our high end stuff, so uh, not super worried about it. Oh, listening to Monstream? Nice. Uh, let's throw this out. This Elves list is actually not that. Uh, bad for us if we can find the uh, the ritual of soot that usually just finishes them off uh, pretty quickly actually um, so I'm not tremendously worried I'm gonna go ahead and scry here as well uh, oh perfect I'll I'll keep that it's not as good I don't think it's the ritual of soot because it's only gonna hit part of what they are doing but it does give us the option um, and here we're actually going to be able to draw an extra card with the tome, so I, I feel pretty good about that. Um, okay. 
Sure. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Uh, hit us for three. That's fine. Let's go ahead and draw. Land is fine. I mean, we, we do have some very good stuff we want to get to, right? So I'm okay with that. Uh, the question is, do we want to drop the extinction event now or should we wait? I think the ideal position would be to wait, personally. Um, alternatively, we can trigger his Lantern, which I actually kind of like here. Gets the cards out of hand and uh, turns the value up, I think, a little bit for extinction event. Now, granted, they can just take three life. Let, let's just keep that in perspective. But uh, this does... Um, or sacrifice the permanent. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, didn't expect that. I thought they would want to keep the elf, uh, but that's fine. Uh, good news here is we're not under any like substantial pressure. I'll keep that just to uh, provide us with a little bit. I'm expecting a heroic intervention. Like at some point, that's definitely going to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, and we can actually just kind of move this engine forward here since we do have... Uh, the means to leave up Fatal Push here as well. I'm just going to keep using the Lantern. Let's get their resources dwindling here as best we can. The Herald. Okay. So they might just be stuck on black mana. They may be looking for black and just not have it. Uh, no, we keep... I think. We'll see what they do. We want them to pay here if they want uh, to add counters, perfect. And then we can just Wildwood or uh, Fatal push it after they have spent the mana, which is very crucial. And here we get to scry, we gain some life, all the good stuff. Um, we actually do need a land for Lily, so I'll keep that. Uh, let's go ahead and Lantern them. They're gonna take it, okay. We're going to get Lily down, and I'm just going to plus up here. I'm not tremendously worried about the threat to Lily. Uh, they had no mana to flash anything in, nothing like that, so I'm not stressing about it. Perfect, because again, we can sweep all of this, <laughs> um, which is great. Um, so, we're going to do this. Uh, let's Extinction Event now for even. Get all of these out of here. Um, we'll up this. Yeah, okay. I mean, Liliana Ultimate in the face of this seems really good. Uh, it doesn't seem like, you know, the end-all be-all by any means, but it does seem quite good, so... We'll see. Um, we do also have Torment that we can fire off at some point. In fact, two of them now, uh, which is helpful. So let's do this. And first things first, I'm actually going to attack in here at uh, Tyvar. Um, I'm partially expecting them to just block, which is great, uh, because it gets rid of an elf for this. It also draws us a card. So why would we not do that? Uh, let's go ahead and thought seize them. <laughs> Man, they're really stuck. Okay, we're gonna take this because that's the only card that can actually kill something of ours. Uh, and then I'm gonna fire this off for four. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. I mean, it, they're gonna take most of the damage. Oh, they're just gonna kill themselves. All right, hype, we did it. Hype in the chat, guys. We got another win. So far, doing pretty well. But again, that's, uh, I think the Gideon sacrifice just is not, not that helpful. I'd almost rather it be like a Phyrexian Arena or something that's going to give us some extra card, adva card advantage. Uh, but either way, I mean, it's a fun deck. I like the deck. Also, if I can ask you guys a quick favor, if you'll let me know how my audio is sounding. Um, I uh, didn't want to flood the chat. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it. Uh, let me know how my audio is sounding. I'm, I'm applying extra filters here and trying to kind of work out some kinks on the audio. Um, and I would very much appreciate it if you would let me know how it's sounding. I tried to up it a little bit. Trash Cam Penguin, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, wow, what a hand. Um, 
Ah, screw it. We're going to try. There's no reason this should ever work, but we're going to try it. Uh, fatal push is something. <laughs> uh, Alex, I'm going to throw Discord up really quick so I can look. All right. Uh, do this. And let's go. <laughs> this can only go well. This was a bad keep. Like, 100%. This was a bad keep. I'm going to go ahead and fatal push this before it gets out of hand uh, and just be semi mana efficient. Oh, perfect. OK, that's actually really good for us. Uh, kind of wishing we didn't use the fatal push now, but I think it's fine. Burning tree, sure. So I'm really hoping they take advantage of this and play more stuff because Ritual of Soot's just going to wreck their life if they do. Uh, so the question becomes, do we throw out the obliterator first, or how do we do this? Um, personally, I kind of like the obliterator route, because this deck runs just so much burn that if they try and burn it, they're going to have to sack stuff, and that doesn't seem good for them. Um, so I'm going to do that, and then we can still ritual underneath the Phyrexian obliterator. It doesn't hit it, thankfully, so in fact, it misses it by one. So yeah. I'm pretty fine with that. Great. Add value to my Ritual of Soot, please. Questing Beast is a bit tricky. It's the only thing I would have liked to have thought seized for. Um, audio seems fine, maybe a tad loud, but that could just be me. Fair enough, Alex. All right, let's see what they have. Let's get rid of a Questing Beast. That's good. I'm going to Ritual, and then I'm going to attack in. If they want to trade, that's perfectly fine, because they also have to then trade four permanents. <laughs> uh, and in this race, we win. I mean, they do have the Lightning Strike, don't get me wrong, but uh, not tremendously worried about that. We also have the Sacrifice, so at some point, we might be able to get them here uh, with the Sacrifice, which would be kind of cool. Uh, but we'll see. We will see. Um, all right, so let's attack. Uh, so the question is, do we just leave up the sacrifice? And I think the answer is yes. And then we can hail fire the following turn, uh, for the win, most likely. Seems pretty good. Uh, uh, let's do this. We really don't even need to do this, to be brutally honest, but it just seems funnier. So we're going to try it. <laughs> All right, they gave up. That's three wins. OK, I feel pretty good about this. Uh, maybe I should take back what I said then. Maybe uh, maybe the sacrifice is actually worth it. I don't know. Uh, Quirkspine throwing that hype. I like it, guys. Let's get some more hype in chat and let's jump into another game here. Uh, man, 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 I like this deck quite a bit. I like this deck quite a bit. I do really love Phyrexian Obliterator. It's kind of just one of my favorite historic cards. Uh, and so seeing it played and it actually doing pretty well is good with me. Um, very reactive hand, very, very reactive hand, but I do think we'll try it. Uh, I mean, we've got three lands, so we've got enough to get us going. These Gideon sacrifices really don't do much until we have the Obliterator. So these are kind of dead, but against any early aggro deck, we've got some tools here, which is good. And then, of course, they show us the uh, Hallowed Fountain. <laughs> Directly contrasting what I was hoping I would see, but there's still hope. Never mind, there's less hope. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to throw this out. Um, interesting deck here. Um, not a hundred percent sure what it is. Obliterator is real good. Yeah, Alex, it's amazing. Hey, what are we playing today? Mixy fit. We are playing an, a, a Phyrexian obliterator slash Gideon sacrifice deck. It's a really interesting one. Uh, so far we're actually doing really well. I think we've gotten three wins if I'm not mistaken. Uh, which is obviously not bad. And then 
We're, we're up against a very challenging deck this time, though, which I'm a little worried about because they will have plenty of sweepers and things to kind of deal with what we're doing. Um, but we'll see. We will see what happens. Uh, this uh, Dovin Hand of Control really makes it not difficult to cast these spells, but it does make it a bit trickier, uh, just given that we really don't want to use them until we have something out, so we can't kind of double up as much. Uh, the Fatal Push and Heartless Act obviously are different, but... People enjoy playing stacks. Quirk's fine. <laughs> Apparently. Um, I'm a bit of a stacks player. If I if I had stacks, I feel like I I play it in cube a good bit because uh, I just really like stacks. But it's not. It's a rough one. <laughs> Let's just say. Uh... Yep. <laughs> Honestly, the eliminate would have been helpful, but other than that, that's fine. I don't believe it. Don't you dare, Alex. Uh, use stacks, right? Um, doesn't seem like a me deck, does it? Uh, this is just going to be a frustrating matchup, guys. Buckle up. It might be a little while. Um, I did... Uh, so one thing that I did create, guys, and I, for I was going to talk about this on the stream. I'm pulling some cards over here really quick. Uh, I've only ever died to a Tinkered Blightsteel when we have played cube. Yeah, that does happen a lot when I play cube. <laughs> um, I love Tinker Blightsteel. We're just drawing all the lands. Um, I did create a Chaos Cube uh, a while back with... Ugh. So, like, I actually got these made, which they're, they're kind of green screened out, but they're like little boxes, and they show you what's in here. And this was all inspired by um, the Mystery Boosters, where they kind of had a, a defined layout of, like, here's two green cards, two of each color, basically an artifact, like stuff like that. It was all kind of pre-measured out. And um, I'm going to refresh this cube because I've had these packs for a while and I thought I would uh, get something a little bit different. But the idea was to what what, what is this? Uh, oh, good. OK, um, I'm just going to kill this. <laughs> So we got nothing else to do. Uh, I've never played cube. Apparently it's fun and I'm not sure how. Uh, it's very fun. You should definitely play cube. But uh, the chaos cube was in a, a, a little invention based off of the mystery boosters. And the idea was that the cards were randomly selected through all of Magic's history. So they could be anything. Um, and it was a similar layout. So we had two of each color, an artifact guaranteed, a multicolor card guaranteed, and a land guaranteed along with a rare or mythic and a foil uh and all of those were randomly selected by going to scryfall and just literally hitting random selection uh until we got what whatever it was that we were gonna gonna put in the pack and then i would order those cards put them in a pack and then shuffle them up basically uh and it was a really fun time i enjoyed doing that a lot and i did play it a few times but again the cards are a bit old at this point and so i'm gonna get some new ones but uh, I was kind of going through and pulling out all of the old cards uh, just today, in fact, and found some cool stuff. There's the Chaos uh, Confetti, which is obviously a play off of the uh, old school, or uh, is it Confetti or Chaos Orb or whatever it is? An old school white bordered Shivan Dragon Crusade, which is now a bad card to own. Uh, Winter Orb White Border. Just some really cool stuff. Uh, and I absolutely love 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 finding stuff like this it's just so fun uh and my collection is relatively substantial so it's it's fun to kind of go back through the cards that i have forgotten i own uh to be honest because there's just a lot of them all right well we're just here doing the thing because that's literally all we can do um we'll untap it and we'll do it again uh, could be fun, but I just don't see a whole lot of it. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things, uh, Quirk's fine, where you have to have someone who can, like, put that time and effort into building the cube, and then not only that, but have the resources to, like, I mean, it's a lot of cards. You gotta have a lot of cards to do it, um, because it does take a lot of effort to really make it work. Um, I am fortunate in that I have a relatively substantial collection, uh, and so I don't feel bad about, you know, creating a cube out of it, but 
it uh, it took some time. Let me just say it took a lot of time. I do also have as near as makes no difference a legacy cube. All right, I'm. This is we're done. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> Anti hype in the chat. We lost. Uh, we could have played that out more, but there was no reason to. Um, I do also have that legacy ish cube um, that I really, really love. And that's what Alex is talking about when he and I have cubed before. It's been the uh, that cube, which is really, really, really fun. Uh, and it's very combo heavy. Uh, he mentioned Tinker and Blightsteel as a combo. The Splinter Swing combo is in there, uh, full force in there. Um, there's natural order there's all kinds of fun stuff there's a lot of really cool cards in there um so yeah i love that kind of stuff i just think that's so fun all right well elves again so we're just kind of hoping for a sweeper uh i mean the lands we really need at this point we've got the extinction event but honestly the ritual of soot is a lot better if we can get it out I'm going to go ahead and just nuke this before they can actually use it. Uh, Smurf, I'm in. Let's do it. I'm a scotch drinker myself, Smurf, but you can bring some beer if you want. All right, well, we have no lands, so here we are. Um, yeah, I'm super down. It'd be fun. We can get Alex in town. Uh, Will, I'm sure, is always down to play. We got, we got some peeps. Some peeps that would play. All right. Hoping at this point that we just hit a land so we can extinction event and get both of these off the board at the same time It's kind of the best hope. In fact, all three of these off the board at the same time would be amazing Land give me a land that's not a land um, I mean we just I'm playing quick on our turn because it just doesn't really matter But that's the best thing we can do. I think we could have waited until maybe they had a two drop, which I guess would have been better. But we're going to take a lot of damage this turn, so. <laughs> oh, look, we get to shock ourselves for this. Uh, all right, let's hit odd. They must have a lot of the uh, enchantments in their hand, though. Because um, otherwise, I think they would have played something more out that turn. Coco, uh, Coco, uh, Quirk's fine, you're right. Yep. Well, they whiffed. Oh my gosh, they whiffed on a Coco. That's insane. <laughs> that does not happen. Um, wow. Okay. We're going to play the Obliterator. Uh, leaving up the Sacrifice, which, I mean, is helpful. Um, they could just have... Okay. Okay. They shocked. Yep. <laughs> hmm. All right. Uh, so we do need to leave up a white. I think, honestly, the play is just to play another Phyrexian Obliterator, uh, because if they do have the four drop enchantment to remove it, that would be a problem. So I think this is the play, leaving up the sacrifice and holding back the other obliterator. I think that's the correct play. Um, because this does give us an out regardless of if they've got the removal spell or not. The only trick is if they've got double. <laughs> okay, but we do have two Gideon sacrifices, so... <laughs> Theoretically, we get around this. They took Torment. So they... Can't get through it with another thought seize. Wow. Uh, okay. Why did they do that? They have to sack everything. <laughs> Creeper, you are back. Fantastic. Uh, they did not read Gideon Sacrifice, I guess. That's hilarious. Oh, that's really funny. All right, Gideon's Sacrifice, kind of cool, not going to lie. I mean, it's not great, but it is really cool. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let's <laughs> Hype in the chat, guys. We did it. That was amazing. Uh, that's really, really, really funny that they did not read. Uh, they shouldn't have attacked. That was silly. 
Creeper, thank you for uh, using that sub or the uh, the prime sub. Really appreciate it, my friend. That's amazing. So that's how the deck wins. Exactly, Quirk's fine. That is how the deck wins. Really just like the controlling elements for the most part. But in a circumstance like that, you can really get somebody uh, who doesn't read. Uh, yeah, it's a great hand, actually. It's a one mana, one sided obliterate where you have to sack a Phyrexian obliterator. Yeah, essentially, Alex, that's exactly what it is. Uh, this is great. I mean, we turn one thought, Steve. Kev, like, nah, it's bad. <laughs> uh, so, hmm. I think we just take the Marwin, actually. Yeah, the Marwin's the card that I'm more worried about. We can Fatal Push whatever they play here, um, which will just be the Llanowar Elf, so, like, that's fine. Um, there's the Obliterator. Uh, I think we do just go ahead and Fatal Push, and realistically, I should have played the Godless Shrine. That was a mistake. We do that solely because they then can't really play the Dwynen's Elite for the full value. They probably just Paradise Druid anyway, um, but that would have been more of an option to them if they had not had the uh, Llanowar Elves removed. Okay, um, throw this and Maze Mind Tome. And really, we're just, just looking for a land. Uh, I have to work soon, just wanted to pop in. Creeper, thank you so much for being here, my man. It's great to see you again. I know you haven't been able to pop in quite as often recently, but uh, it's always a pleasure to have you here. And I can't thank you enough again for the packs that you sent a while back. I really do appreciate it. I'm actually going to tank that just so we can get a uh, land here. We kind of need a land. Uh, and so thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it, buddy. All right. Well, we're going to draw and we'll fatal push just to do something. Work is so busy. Creeper, I understand. Trust me. Um, unfortunately, I've had to take a lot of time uh, focused more on work recently and so that's kind of why we've been slacking a little bit in the content realm though I've I've tried to stick with it as best I can to make sure that we're not dropping too much uh, so I do appreciate again everybody's patience hanging out with us uh, I'm gonna maze mine to him oh no we just don't have lands guys we don't have lands and not only that we just don't have a sweeper either um, the only plus side here is that it looks like, at least, that this is the mono green version, um, which does mean that they have, like, zero removal. Uh, there's the land. Um, a little too late, but it is what it is. We'll play this out. I'll go ahead and scry here, uh, because, honestly, the four life is going to come in handy, um, and we just need more land, so I'm, I'm ditching it. I'm ditching it as best I can. The good news here is if they do attack, we do just have Phyrexian Obliterator. So like this is a not a, a lock on their board state by any means, but it does make it kind of tricky for them to get a good attack in. Um, and if nothing else, it stalls. Oh no. Okay, but they didn't get anything, did they? That's interesting. Okay, so we have to leave up Gideon Sacrifice this turn. There's no other way to do it. I'm going to drop the Maze Mind Tome. I'm not going to attack. Just just in case. <laughs> just in case. Did they get anything? They didn't get anything with the Fierce Empath. They had the opportunity and they didn't get it. I wonder if just because we are at Black Deck, they were worried about a Thoughtseize. Or they already have it in their hand. Which is fine, because again, we have Gideon Sacrifice, so this might actually be really fun. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yep. Great. This could be hilarious. We will see. So they must have already had it in their hand, but that, that means they've only got one of these. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> oh... Guys, oh my gosh. Don't have to block. It soaks up the trample damage also. <laughs> All right, well, they have to sacrifice their board. <laughs> oh 
Holy crap, that's really funny. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy this is happening. Uh... They might just give up. I mean, we'll see, but... That's really funny. <laughs> Was it 51? I didn't actually look. Yeah, this is a absolute just devastation. They got nothing left. Uh, we'll go ahead and scry. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get a little extra hype in the chat. That was a crazy, crazy one. Uh, hey, and the rank up. We are plat one, everybody. Plat one, getting up towards diamond. That was amazing. Uh, if anybody wants to clip that and highlight that, do it, because that was really sick. Uh... Hey, gifted a sub metal mouth man, you're back. Gifting another sub to Mixie Fit. For anybody that doesn't know, Metal Mouth has been a gifting fiend uh, over the last few streams. Thank you so much, Metal Mouth. Congratulations also to Mixie Fit. Uh, that's awesome. Thank you, Metal Mouth. That was amazing. Was it in here? Not sure uh, how that happened. Uh, we are playing Phyrexian Obliterator with Gideon Sacrifice. And they were playing Elves and Crater Hoofed, uh, which meant all that damage hit Phyrexian Obliterator for the win. Uh, Corkspine, Metal Mouth showing some hype. Yeah, let's get a little more hype in chat for Mixie Fit uh, get, and uh, Metal Mouth giving that, that sub. Really awesome. You out here making your enemies cry. That's the goal, man. That's the goal. Uh, this is definitely a keep. We do need some lands, uh, but this is a very solid hand. Double Thoughtseize is, of course, always great. Um, we're noting the opponent is on the play, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, if they are a black deck of their own, they thought sees our thought sees, and then we thought sees back. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, also, guys, for the record, I I did tell everybody that in uh, finally able to catch a stream lamp. Yes. Uh, I did tell everybody that I I updated our TCG player store. Wow, triple thoughtsies. Uh I did update it with these two cards along with a lot of others, but this is a foil uh, remand, time-shifted remand, and a foil extended art jeweled lotus, uh, both of which are available to anybody who wants them. Uh, I'm going to take the supplier, I think. Um they are up for bra for grabs in our TCG player store right now. All right, I'm just going to keep thought seizing. <laughs> uh, Mixie Fit giving another tier one sub over to our friend a lamp. Look at that, man. You are just being so kind today. I really appreciate you. So, so sweet. Uh, I'm just going <laughs> to should do it again. I'm going to take the creeping chill. Uh, they can play the Thassa's Oracle. We have outs to kill that, so I don't really care as much. Um, look at that. Uh, man. Me uh, Metal Mouth, you are too kind. You are absolutely too kind. I do really appreciate the support. You have been an amazing uh, patron of the stream as of, as of late, which is just am amazingly, amazingly kind of you. All right, we do have to hit a land here. Um, that's the only trick. They've got more than enough land. Uh, ooh, interesting. Okay. Such kindness, lamp, right? Thassa's Oracle again. Okay. It's not super helpful. Um, all right, we pass. We really need a land. That would be great. Uh, let's go ahead and kick one of these out. Land ho, exactly. We need it. We need it. We need it. Um, yes, I'm not playing Gideon Sacrifice right now. Um, surprising, I know. There's the land. Uh, okay, so I am just going to ritual here. Get that out of there. The only trick that we do have to think about is that we did see Tamio uh, here. And so the chances of them wanting things in their graveyard is not low. Um, uh, what's the combo here? It's Phyrexian Obliterator with Gideon Sacrifice uh, once they attack in for a lot. Um, so do we play... I think we play the Lantern. It's harder to interact with, and it just 
is more of a win condition. Uh, any advice for getting into historic on arena? Mixy fit. That's a great question. Um, Yes, actually a little bit. Uh, one, I would stick to what you know. I mean, if you play other formats, um, obviously you have some idea of the kind of decks that you like. So I would suggest very heavily that you stick with that. Uh, you know what kind of deck you like. I would try and find a similar build in Historic that might even utilize some of the standard cards you might already have on Arena, uh, if you do have any cards on Arena. Um, so do your best to kind of utilize what's already there, the resources you have already been given, if that makes sense. Uh, additionally, there are, I mean, there are plenty of channels and plenty of content creators that focus very heavily on quote unquote budget builds for Arena, where they don't necessarily use a lot of wild cards or, um, you know, they find other things that can hopefully uh, save you some amount of Let's do this. We can actually, uh, well, no, that doesn't work, does it? Um, some amount of uh, of time and effort into like the grind and that whole thing just to get the wild cards. So there are ways you can kind of get around that if you find the deck that you like. Um, personally, we're lucky enough that that's not a huge worry for our channel. Um, also, thank you for hype. We did it win. Um, but. Uh, I found that in the beginning, I would kind of stick to a deck that I felt like was at least reasonably competitive, but did not use a lot of wild cards for me, uh, because then I could push through for some games, grind, do your dailies, get the gold that you can get, and then if you need to open up some packs, you can. Uh, oh, Alex, love that. That's really cool. Um, this is a great hand, honestly. Um, so yeah, I would, I would absolutely stick to a single deck for right now and just grind, grind, grind. I know it takes some time, but it's worth it. Uh, all right, let's do that. Uh, looks like the stream, all right, stream did not go down. Makes you fit, absolutely. Been looking for more reasons to play. Uh, I understand completely. It's, uh, it's tough sometimes. That grind is really tricky, especially if you don't have a lot of I mean, magic is pay to play, man. Like, you know that going into it. Stream's still up. Thanks, Alex. Just making sure. Um, the str I mean, magic is very heavily pay to play in some cases, and I think um, Arena tries to take advantage of that. If you don't want to do that, it's it's a grind. It's definitely a grind. Um, but it's fun. I mean, I, I love it, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing content around it. But um, it, it takes a long time to kind of build up that collection. Uh, the nice thing about Historic is, while it gets new cards all the time, you also don't have to, um, n like, they don't cycle out. So a lot of the time, decks, once you have a deck, you don't really have to do a whole lot to it later on, which is kind of nice. Um, this is a Yorian deck, so I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to pass. Um, you really don't have to do a whole lot to it. Um once a new set hits. I mean, there certainly is some cards or will be some cards that you do need to swap in and out and that kind of thing. And the meta is always changing, of course, but it does take uh, just a bit, a bit of a grind to kind of get there. And then once you're there, you can kind of push your way through uh, to, to get wild cards, to get a bunch of gems without what could be considered gambling. Uh, Quirk's fine. That's fair. Um, I think that's a fair assessment, but I think that argument is very twofold. Um, not to not to downplay what you're talking about because you're exactly right i mean you have to you have to pay a good bit a lot of times if you want to bypass that grind um unfortunately that's just kind of the way of gaming in a lot of circumstances i know there's a lot of franchises and game companies that try and push away from that which is great and i think those games get praised very highly for that but um i think a lot of it is just grindy or pay to play and like that's the way to do it uh and the reason being is because you you and we have as a culture agreed that that's okay because we've paid right like <laughs> um not you specifically i'm not calling anybody specifically out my point is in saying though that people have said at the end of the day that they're gonna pay for it because they have uh and if they keep doing it then why would they stop uh there's no reason to so we could have thought seized and got this Yorian out of here, but I kind of don't. I kind of just want to get the lantern down. Uh, at the end of the day, Watsi is a company, and they will do what they feel is best to make money. I mean, that's exactly right. Um, 
either through money or grinding. Alex, yeah, it is a very fulfilling kind of thing. I mean, we, again, we, thanks to the support from you guys and things like that, we've got a lot of uh, resources to help push where we need to be. Um, interesting that they go for the tome. Yeah, I'll keep the land. Um, but it just takes a lot of time, and that's all there really is to it. Uh, you can't really get around it. Let's try a Thoughtseize. Let's see what they've got. Ooh, neat. Um, so Vorinclex might be the scary card, right? View browser. Uh, actually, maybe it is Yorian. Hmm. It's a bit tricky. Uh, I can't safely grind with Throne of Eldraine still in the meta. Corkspine, ah, uh, that's fair. Um, <laughs> they do have the Heartless Act as well. Uh, I went for the grind, but I'm about to drop buckets into Strixhaven. <laughs> Makes me fit. Um, yeah, Strixhaven seems sweet. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, we're going to make him discard something or take three or whatever. Um, the flying thing and resetting the bindings is kind of what I'm scared of. Uh, and then I'll play out the Phyrexian Obliterator. Chances are they just get to kill this with the Heartless Act, but... Um, that does kind of take a turn off from the Vorinclex, which is kind of nice. Um, Quirk's fine. Wow, you've got a lot of coin built up. See, I'm not that... I I am constantly kind of building up to about 10000 and then just spending it uh, because I know I'm going to spend money on Strixhaven, but I kind of just have to um, because if I don't, then I can't make relevant content for people. So, like, it's a little bit of a different world when you're... You're stuck in that position, I will say. Uh, the shop owner at my LGS. Uh, whoa! Shinken25 is raiding with a party of 10. Thank you so much, my friend. That is very, very kind of you. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. You guys... Oh, that's so kind. Thank you so much for the raid, Shinken. I really appreciate it. Very, very much. Um, that's so sweet. New follower as well. Look at this. Look at this. You guys are just the best. You guys are amazing. Um, okay. So, I spent the coins as soon as I had, so I can get landfall cards and wild cards. Yeah, absolutely. Lamp. Yeah, let's get some hype in chat, guys, for that raid. That was so kind of you. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here uh, and and supporting the stream. That is so kind. Oh, you guys are amazing. Uh, don't have a lot saved, but I'm willing to pay for what I want. Quirk's fine. Yeah, I get you. All right, let's try this. All the hype in chat, guys. Thank you, Lamp. Thank you, Alex and MixyFit and Corkspine. All the people, guys. All the people. So sweet. So sweet. All right. They just had another Heartless Act. Can't get around that. Um, we're about to get slapped in the face. <laughs> With either a Vorinclex or an Eerie Ultimatum. Both of, or Emergent, excuse me. Scary times. Uh, have a nice rest of your stream. Good luck with the games. Thank you, Shinken. Thank you, thank you. Uh, again, thank you so much for that raid. That was so kind of you. Great to have all your amazing people here. Uh, and thank you for all the new followers, guys. Thank you. Look at this. Oh, I can't say thank you enough. Um, <laughs> if I choose one of those cards, shuffle the cards into your... Okay, shuffle one in, they can cast the others. Yeah, I just want to make sure I remember how this actually plays. Uh... <laughs> hmm. Uh, shuffle that back in. We'll see how that goes. Uh, all right. Let's hope this works. Probably not. We're probably dead. They get to vault. Yep, that's fine. Yep. You got it. Uh, this is a sweet deck, by the way. Uh, this, like, Sultai kind of uh, emergent ultimatum deck. I really, really like this. It's been a fun one to play against. Uh, all right. I mean, doesn't matter too much. <laughs> Ooh, mean. Oh, very mean. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Most viewers you've had in a while. Yeah, Quirk's fine. We're not a uh, highly viewed channel, we will say. So it's nice to have um, a little bit of extra here. That's really kind. 
All right. Well, we're dead. I think we're dead. Uh, we'll give it one more draw. Uh, but the reality is we don't have a whole lot of ways to deal with these uh, planeswalkers, so we're probably out. Um, and they also have stolen quite a bit of really good stuff, so I think this is safe to say we're just out. Um, that's okay. I think we're going to do one more game after this anyway. Uh, uh, hmm. That doesn't help, does it? One, two... Four, five, six. So we can hit for four. Let's do it. Just for fun, and then we'll end on this. <laughs> we'll hit him for four, and then that'll be it. Ah, oh, man. Was hoping. Was hoping, was hoping. Um, I thought we did a decent job in the early game, but we drew pretty badly. The reality is we just didn't have a whole lot going on. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. <laughs> One more game, guys. One more game with this really interesting deck. Uh, we've been doing okay with it, surprisingly. Uh, the Emergent, or the uh, the Phyrexian Obliterator Gideon Sacrifice combo has really proved to be quite cool in the, uh, in the instances against, like, elves and ridiculous stuff. Oh, thank you, Alex. Yes, anti-hype in chat for everybody who can anti-hype, thanks to uh, all the new subs. That's really kind. All right. Let's do it. Last game, guys. Let's see if we can get another win with this deck. I have no clue what our record is. I'm going to keep this. Double Thoughtseize, man. You got to keep it. Lamp showing that anti-hype. <laughs> and Mixy Fit. Look at all the anti-hype. I love it. Um, yeah, guys, this does bring up a really nice point uh, that's uh, sh thanks to Shinken rating and that whole thing. Uh, I just wanted to say, if anybody feels like they... I mean, I know a lot of you guys are here all the time, but if you have friends who would enjoy the stream, if you've got anybody that you feel would be, um, you know, a fun community member or anything like that, please, 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 please share this stream with them. Again, we try and stream almost every weekday around this time. Um, such a meta combo. Quirk's fine. It, it kind of is. It's against the elves and stuff. It's great. Um, Mixy Fit showing that record of fun over fun. I like it. Uh, but um, it really would help out quite a bit. Um, given that we are a small channel, if each of you shared out to one other person, we could double the number of people in the stream. And then if each of them shared out, it'd be even bigger. So it'd be a really, really cool thing to be able to get to, let's say, 25 people hanging out with us. That's my goal. That's my goal. Uh, I'm tasking it to you guys to help us get there because uh, I do think that that would be really, really awesome. So tomorrow, I want to see if we can get up to 25 people. Can we do it? I think we can. I think we definitely can. I don't think that that's reaching. I think we can absolutely do that. Uh, obviously, though, it is going to take some help from you guys. So please, whatever you do, uh, share this out if you can just to anybody that you think will enjoy it. All right, uh, what do we take? It's not the Null Priest. We've got enough to uh, get rid of that later on. I think it's just Journey. Um, I don't love a lot of their hand. It's a little scary, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, this Vraska is kind of interesting. It destroys non-land permanents, as does the Binding. Kind of scary. Um, all right. Let's do it. Uh, throw you out there. Since we don't have another like good follow-up play, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Uh, and I'm going to take Vraska. I think Vraska is scarier than the Binding. Both are very scary, but I think that's a better option. Uh, next turn, we really just have the Maze Mind Tome. Uh, at least at this point, it'd be great if we could draw something like a Fatal Push where we could double up. Uh, that'd be fantastic, but crucially, we are going to need some white mana here. We do have the pathway, but we want to land that turn for Obliterator if we draw it as well. So we've got a decision to make there. Uh, Taking one from the supplier, that's fine. They're going to play that Null Priest. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm going to go for the black source here. The reality is Gideon Sacrifice does absolutely nothing unless we have the Obliterator out. I would rather take the decision to make the Obliterator playable. Um, I just think that's a much better option. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we do get to Scry here, which is quite nice. Not helpful. <clears throat> All right. 
Taking a little damage, it's fine. Uh, really need to be scrying on upkeep here, but that's fine. All right, let's do this. Let's draw, land is helpful. Um, I'm gonna put the stop here and I'm gonna scry on the upkeep. I'd really, really, really like to get a sweeper here. Uh, specifically a ritual would be amazing. Um, they could also just binding and hit the tome, uh, which I think is a reasonable play, yeah. Uh, so we don't need that stop anymore. That's fine. Uh, I I think I would have done the exact same just to get rid of that uh, potential engine. Um, and the life gain off of it is pretty crucial for us. So here's to hoping. All right, well. Uh, I think we just play out Turgrid here, actually. Um, and we'll see what happens. I believe in us, guys. I believe in us. Um, Menace and lifelink. And this is just the one one. Okay. Yep. <laughs> um, so we can play the Lantern. Uh, we do not have the white. We made that decision. Um, and I, I again, I do stand by it, given the, what we had in our hand. Uh, so I think we just play this out. Give ourselves the opportunity to... Uh, kind of double up here uh yeah i do want that um let's get rid of the null priest that's helpful <laughs> i forgot that any time a permanent like they uh they have to sacrifice a permanent as well has printed a triple gamble have they really oh i'm curious to see how this goes what do they fight i guess turgrid don't forget about the death touch yeah i will uh do my best not to um interesting okay we need a white source here all right that's not a white source okay uh decline do this do this okay so this is gonna be backbreaking though for them we're gonna sacrifice everything and i'm totally fine with this <laughs> Uh, cause we get him. Oh no, we don't. Oh no. Why did I do that? That was a mistake. It's fine. We should have, uh, played that differently, but it's fine. Uh, I was thinking Turgrid was still out. Ugh. Dumb, dumb, dumb. All right, let's do this. Let's create a zombie. Let's get Turgrid out. Anti-hype. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that was one of those absolutely amazing plays that you can only dream about. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right. Well, we still got the win. We shouldn't have. That was a mistake. Uh, guys, thank you again for being here. Thank you so much to Shinken for uh, providing us with that amazing raid. Again, guys, tomorrow's goal. I want 25 people in here. That's my goal. I need your help, though. Uh, I need you guys to share out the stream if you would, please. That would be amazing, amazing. We're going to try and jump on around 12, 30, 1 o'clock tomorrow with some more gameplay, so do stay tuned for that. And if you are interested in picking up any singles, uh, we do have a lot more inventory that we're going to be uploading into that TCG player, but the two big ones right now is the Foil Remand, uh, which obviously the green screen is picking up a little bit here, but Foil Remand Time Shifted and Foil Extended Art Jeweled Lotus. Those are two pretty high value cards right now. Uh, and so if you're interested in picking those up, you can certainly do so. I do appreciate everybody uh, being here again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it means so much to have you guys here. So I hope you guys enjoy the, the rest of your day and I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Thanks a lot, guys. See you then.